All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is more reality checks when it comes to the world of sailing full time. We are checking in with a fantastic channel called Sailing Pohana. I'm sure I mispronounced that, but fantastic sailing channel, fairly new to the world of YouTube. So if you want to head on over, give them a like, subscribe. I will put the link to their channel down below. And today we're just kind of having a conversation about some of the realities when it comes to sailing full time and some of the difficulties you're going to face if this is something you're looking forward to doing. Also, quick shout out to today's sponsor, American Express Platinum Card. If you do a lot of traveling like I do, the American Express Platinum Card offers an absolute ton of benefits. There is a referral code down below where you can pick up about 100,000 extra miles to help in your traveling adventures. So if you're looking to buy a sailboat full time, these miles can really, really come in handy. And let's get started. I mean, there's a lot of things that I didn't expect. So what I didn't expect. To be, I didn't expect to be miserable most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> you you bought into the YouTube sailors, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. That uh, I don't know. It, it, it's definitely not what I expected. Maria, she she seems to think that oh, you know, things will get better when we get to the Bahamas, and I'm thinking, okay, if it doesn't, if it stays like this all the way to the Bahamas, we're selling the boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna find a pontoon boat and, and call it a day. Go fishing, you know? Exactly. Yeah, that uh, a lot of people will tell me, you know, oh, I'd like to sail the, uh, you know, Annapolis, Boston. I'm like, absolutely not. You can keep that nonsense, man, because I don't want to be miserable all the time and wet and cold. I don't yeah. want the only place I want to sail is where I live. And that's why yeah. I live here <laughs> is the Caribbean yeah. and an Atlantic crossing. I'll do the south of France and the Mediterranean. I want no part of that cold climate stuff. Yeah, as soon as I get to the warm weather, we, that we literally sold our house in Ohio and moved to Florida because I don't like being cold. So we do have a backup plan. You know, if we don't like boating. We got our house in Florida. But yeah, um, I did it because I don't want to be cold. And I have literally been colder this winter or fall than I've ever been in my life. <laughs> You're said, the whole reason it. I did, Yeah, the whole reason I did this was to be warm. And yeah. here we are, cold, 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 cold. This is your first time, like full blown, full time live aboard sailor, correct? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice. yeah. We moved on to the boat in July and was working on it, trying to put some stuff together. We worked on all the wrong things. I wish <laughs> I'd have worked on it. I mean, I don't know if you can see this no enclosure. Yeah. yeah. And if I had to do it over again, I would do it with an enclosure. It, it, it's been miserably cold. I mean, yeah. it's. <laughs> It's been so bad sometimes I'm thinking, you know what, let's just pull this in to find a marina that can put it on the hard and let's just go home. Yeah, especially, I mean, I, it's the same down here in the tropics. Like once you guys get down here, it's going to be the same, but it's going to be opposite because you're going to go up in the cockpit and it's going to be so hot. Uh, yeah. I mean, next summer anyway, this winter you guys will be fine, but like next summer and stuff, man, it's brutal yeah. without that enclosure. I always tell people those enclosures, man. It's hard, yeah. you know. We worked on a lot of things and not the enclosures. I mean, I bought new sails. I probably would have invested in something, probably more battery power instead of new sails. I mean, yeah. The old sails were working, but I mean, I probably would have invested in, in a couple of things I would have done differently. You know, like new sail or um, more lithium or actually lithium, not more lithium. We just have two AGM batteries and that's it. Oh, you only have two. Yeah. Yeah. But like when we get to an anchorage, I'm like the I'm like the light Nazi. You know the, the, yeah. the power. You, you know Maria turns on really. She turns on an LED light. I'm like, hey, what's that light on for? <laughs> you, <laughs> use your headlamp. <laughs> How much solar? Do you have any solar on board? How much solar you got? I see some. Yeah, you can see it right there. That's yeah. um, three 240 watt solar panels. Yeah, um, it's not a ton. I mean, it's 720. I guess. Yeah, my math is right. Total, yeah. but it's only charging. 400 amp hours then, um, of an AGM. So it's plenty. I mean, we haven't. Now, our first test is going to be on Tuesday. We're going to go into, um, I'm hoping, if weather permitting, we're going to go from here in Beaufort to St. Augustine um, overnight and try to get to St. Augustine because I'm tired of being cold. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be on a mooring ball for some time. We haven't had any length of time at a mooring ball or an anchor yet. You know, one or two days. I think we were three days in mm -hmm. Annapolis on a mooring ball. 
but um, and we had plenty of power, but we didn't really use the TV. There's nothing really in there that uses power except lights. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Yeah. Unless like you're uh, editing videos all the time or something on laptops and have to right. charge a computer, there's you don't really use right. much. Right, uh, and it doesn't take much to charge a laptop either. No. You know, if you charge it through the day when the sun's out, you know. Yeah. So, have you thought about course, throwing really... a couple extra batteries uh, on board? Like, yeah, I was thinking about your battery maybe, bank. I was thinking about adding one more 200 amp hour AGM when we get down to Florida. Yeah. Um, because our fridge has been giving us problems and it doesn't cycle on and off by itself. So I have to wake up whenever I wake up, I turn it off in the middle of the night uh -huh. and then I wake up in the morning, I turn it back on. I, I have to turn it off and on manually all day long. Oh, so it bummer. runs. Yeah. It runs more than what it should. Yeah. So I would like to have a battery. If I had a battery dedicated to only the fridge, then that would probably, um, would be, would be all right. Cause like I said, we don't need a ton of, I got a better early. <laughs> yeah, so it's I right do too, now. man. It's getting, dark. it's getting dark at six, so you know, when we're at anchor, eight o'clock, I'm in bed. Yeah. There's nothing to see. It's pitch black. So yeah, you can't see anything. <laughs> yeah. right. Right. We were at anchor two nights ago, and there was dolphins right next to our boat. I mean, right next to us. You know, making the sound. Yeah. I looked out, couldn't see anything. Nothing. <laughs> so I couldn't see the side of the boat. So I'm like, I'm just gonna bed. Yeah, and where is uh? So what are you guys' plans? Well, you're gonna you want to come down here to the tropics, right? The Lesser Antilles. Yeah, we're we're heading from here down to Florida, and then from Florida to the Bahamas. And I'll and probably meet you in the Bahamas because I'll be there about the same time. Uh, yeah. On another boat, so I'm sure I'll meet up with you. We'll grab some drinks or whatever. Have a good time. Yeah, we'll be somewhere. Down. We'll be somewhere down there, and then yeah. uh, after the Bahamas, we're planning on being in the Bahamas probably three months, mm -hmm. and then after that, we don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maria's hey. talking about going to uh, um, Grenada and taking a boat down there for the summer. And, but yeah. there's we got a, we got some challenges because we have a dog, and I don't know how to get her. I, we haven't looked into like getting on a plane with with her and bringing her back to um, United States from Grenada or something. So I don't know. We're, I'm only going to plan to April now and then figure out the rest later. Yeah, the pet thing is usually not too bad. They just want, uh, yeah. like, you know, your rabies certificate, a vet certificate, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, right. It's usually not too bad. But All right. So I know we were talking the other day. Uh, so what do you think? Uh, I'm trying to figure out the best way to put this. So what do you think of boat life uh, in reality compared to all of the absolute nonsense that you see in yeah. YouTube videos? Yeah, you're only seeing the best of the days on. Yeah, even on even on my channel, really, you're only Florida on. Look at this old man drinking his beer. For him, oh, man, yeah. you're so lucky to be able to sail with your dad, though. Yeah, <laughs> he said he thought it was lemonade. No, because we're gonna we're gonna leave Beaufort, hopefully on Monday, and do a 24 to 30 hour sail down to St. Augustine. You just waiting so, for a weather window? Um, the weather window is already. It's not. It, it's windy, super windy every day. Um, windier than what I want to sail in. But then there's uh, there's a little window on Monday and Tuesday. But the wind's coming from the wrong direction. It's it's not very strong, and so I don't know if there'll be much sailing. We might be motoring it's most motor, of the right? motors. Yeah. But I don't care. I will burn the diesel if I have to. I'm getting yeah. out of the cold. Yeah. Nobody so, cares. Everybody always has this yeah. weird thing about I can only sail. Screw that. Just turn on the engine oh. and go where you want to go. Yeah, diesel's expensive, but you know I want to get to where I'm going, and once I'm there, then then I'll take the slow. Like when I get to the Bahamas, when I'm going from Anchorage to Anchorage, I'll put yeah. the sail out, go three knots. I don't care because I'm warm. Yeah, you'll have but a lot now, better time, man. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> no, so I'm with far, uh, I'm with your wife on this one because I know how you're feeling because I've done it all. Um, yeah, and I know. I mean, I'm sure where you're at right now is like. At this point, you're probably like, I wouldn't mind selling this gosh forsaken boat <laughs> because you're miserable, yeah. you know, uh, and That's I don't well blame you. I hate the cold I weather. Thought it, I thought about it as far back as uh, Deltaville, Virginia, thinking, you know, I can just put the boat up and then come back in the summer and get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But and even here, you know, I was like, I mean, even though it's it's not nearly as cold here, still I know that I'm, I'm going to be miserably cold on that sail on monday night it's going to be colder than hell out there on the ocean even if it's yeah. warm it's still going to be cold mm -hmm. 
And but so I have to get prepared for it mentally and, you know, get my make sure I got plenty of clothes on and all that because I just know it's going to suck. But yeah. it's only going to suck for, you know, a day or a day and a half or whatever. And then hopefully St. Augustine will be warm. It'll, st- it'll at least start to get warmer. That's for sure. Right. And then the further yeah. well, south anything, you get. Anything in the 60s now to us is warm because yeah. it's been in the. I mean, uh, last week we woke up and there was ice on the Bimini. Wow. Actually, that was this week. We were in uh, around Myrtle Beach and I woke up and there I had to walk up. We were at a, at a marina, a place called Osprey Marina in the middle of the swamp. And I walked up, got on the dock and slipped because it was frosty. And then on top of the uh, Bimini, it was ice pellets from the water droplets where water beads on the Bimini. Wow. And then there was frost. There was frost everywhere. So it was definitely in the 30s low 30s and it was it was it warmed up pretty quickly that day when the sun's out it's great like today as you can see yeah it's been cloudy all day but yesterday was sunny but it was colder but at least it was warm so as long as the clouds aren't out it's tolerable yeah and like if it's it's 30 outside and you're on a boat your reel feels like four (laughs) is what it feels like you know yeah and then and then you're you're like driving the boat in this cold and you're thinking you have no dock or any place to go to so you're not going to have electricity so you're not going to have any heat so you're trying to you know snuggle up next to my dog daisy to get warm yeah no kidding man (laughs) because because it's we've slept on the boat when it's in the 30s but no heat numerous times on this trip and i'm just thinking i mean i was in the infantry in the military so i'm used to i mean i've experienced misery Mm-hmm. But I didn't think I was going to do it anymore. So yeah. that's kind of why I'm a little bit disappointed in this trip that I've been so. It's, I'm going to just bring back military memories. It shouldn't be like the military. Retirement yeah. should not, you know, retirement yeah. should be. It's kind of retirement. You know, we just left work, but um, we're calling it our retirement. It should be fun and yeah. warm and what you want it to be and not, not tolerating. I don't want to tolerate cold. Yeah just yeah. yeah so yeah so i don't blame I mean, you yeah. i mean i'm with you 100 percent uh i didn't even own pants until uh, i went to annapolis a month ago because <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't even want to own jeans that's why i live in the caribbean because i don't, never yeah. want to be cold i hate being cold more than anything in the world like i just despise being cold and you know i get invited to go up and sail in northern america north america i'm like absolutely not yeah. no thanks man yeah. you can can't pay me to go up there and do what you're going through because it's a nightmare yeah yeah i don't want to uh i definitely don't want to do it again i'm trying to figure out a place to keep the boat because we have no place to keep the boat when we come back from the bahamas the um the hurricane ian wiped out all the marinas on the west coast so well southern west coast of florida yeah and then everybody that was on the west coast that had a boat that didn't get destroyed and the icw people are all on the east coast now I don't know what I'm going to do with the boat. We, we may have to put it on the hard and put it in storage if, we, if we're not still sailing. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys take, again, some, like, if you take some time off and go home for, you know, 90 days or six months, that's what I would do. Just put it on the hard somewhere. Yeah, you know? yeah that's what we're going to do probably. Just It'd put it on the hard. less expensive anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're actually, we're going to be going, uh, we're going to be going home. When, when we get to St. Augustine, about a week later, we're going to get down somewhere about, I don't know, Fort Pierce area. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to uh, go across. Uh, we're going to, my friend's going to come bring my truck to me. I'm going to get a bunch of stuff off the boat that we overpacked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get a bunch of stuff and take it home to the, to the house in Florida and drop it off and probably spend a couple weeks at the house. Cause I got to get the yard taken, put back together. Cause the yard was destroyed in hurricane Ian. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the, we lost some shingles on the roof. Luckily we didn't lose more. Um, so I got some patching up on the house to do before we head over to the Bahamas, and then we'll head over to the Bahamas toward the end of December, beginning of January. That's the timeline we're looking at anyway. Well, you're no, close, man. You you, Life will get better soon. It might be dark, but I'll take you down and show you the reality of a sailboat that's actually having people live on it. You know, <laughs> I was just going to ask you, you uh, what do you think of the size of your boat now that you have three people and a dog living full time? Well, I'd rather have that one. But yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think I'd want to put fuel in that. No. <laughs> but uh, but I, I got I got to do something for you here. 
Don't you need oh, that? The compass shot. No compass, no deals, sir. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, let me go down here and let me show you. Like, as far as there's three of us, so I mean, yeah, we could have done smaller, but we're, we're doing it. We're doing without enough of the luxuries of life, you know, without having to deal without, oh, you know, sure. deal without the side of the boat. So we're already suffering with the cold and and the weather. So you know what? But 41's probably a little too big for two people, but yeah. I mean we have three, but uh, my dad doesn't take up much space. But I don't know. I would say somewhere between thirty seven. If I had to do over again, mm -hmm. I was originally looking for a thirty seven, but I would go no bigger than thirty nine because at thirty nine everything like doubles in at over thirty nine everything doubles in price. Yeah. So yeah. I would go. I would go uh, thirty nine at the largest. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, like all of those good things. It really, really helps the algorithm. Now, if you do need help getting on the water sooner than later, head on over to my website at chasinglatitudes.com. Sign up for a consulting package. Come join me on the members area and let's get your path back on the water set up in the most cost efficient and time efficient manner. Also consider joining my patron for only $10 a month. You do get full access to my members area where I'm available to chat almost 24 seven. Thank you so much for watching. Hit my website, sign up for the newsletter, get a free copy of my new ebook, leave a comment down below, and I will see you on the next video.